Hello everyone. So as you can see, I have a ton of parts laid out before you. It's raining here, so nice day to spend in the garage doing some work. Uh, I've got this SCX24 that I've been working on, uh, doing a bunch of different things too. And now I've got a bunch more to do. So today I'm going to be putting on the crawl space metal axles, or the axle housings I should say. Uh, one of the no-named uh, servo mounts holds the larger servo. The one I currently have on there is a, one of the stock ones I've cut to fit. Uh, aluminum bars, to, links to go across the front instead of the plastic ones. Those are also no name and some more no name parts. These things that you're starting to be able to find a lot of parts for pretty cheap. Now these are four millimeter offset axles. So I'm gonna put them in at the same time and uh, that should give us an extra eight millimeters of width. And I'm probably also going to relocate my shocks at a further angle so I can get even more flex out of it. Uh, I'm going to get the axles pulled out of here and then uh, I'll get back with you on tearing the axles apart. So disassembly is complete. Start getting this thing put back together with all the new parts. Uh, I'm going to do the axle housing first. This is uh, from Crawl Space. Uh, I picked this up at UST for 30 bucks. There's the new housing. And the new diff cover. And they give you all the hardware and include a wrench. One stuck in there. Okay, so first I am going to put this all back in. And I'm going to grease this worm gear with some marine grease, which should in turn grease the gear below it. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I'll slide that in. Now we got our side gear. And these little bearings. Glad those slid in there nicely on their own. Spoke too soon, knocked one over. That is a challenge when working with this little stuff. So what I'm gonna do, put a little grease in there. That should help hold those bearings against the side so they don't fall out when I'm slipping the gear in. There we go. Hopefully that did it. I believe the bevel goes this direction. Yep, fits right in there. And then these should slide right in. Connect into that gear. Can't work with the bearing on this one.
You know, take a little wiggling around to get those lined back up. There we go, that one's in. That one felt like it popped in. Good to go on that. I oh, need to get the bearing out of the old cover. Fits right in place nice and easy. Try not to put my hand in front of the camera. All right, that popped right on. Could be these ones. That's just spinning like it's stripped right out in there. I find uh, the hardware that comes with these often gives me an, an issue. Hopefully the next one doesn't do that. Alright, that one's snug down, so that's good. Kind of disconcerting about the other one, though. Well, three out of the four snugged right in. I'm going to open, this is the uh, no-name servo. It's supposed to hold a larger servo. It also comes with uh, the mounting hardware. That should sit right in there, and it does. Nice. might be hearing a little rain, thunder, or tree frogs. There we go. Now also, when uh, we get to the point where this is complete, I already had five millimeter extensions on this thing. So with these four millimeter axles and the five millimeter extended brass on there, that should give us a nice uh, nine on each side. So a total of 18 wide. Come on, get started. Well, it's going in there. It feels, looks like awfully crooked, but we'll see what happens. Keep running down. It might straighten out. Definitely don't want to twist one off in there. I'm not going to have to worry about going back and putting Loctite on this one, that's for sure. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera and run that back out and put the rest of these pieces on. You pretty much get the idea. Uh, I'll open it up so I can show you the pieces and then I'll put them on off camera because I'm sure this is getting to be quite a long video. Also comes with all the hardware. This will be our new steering for the front.
And these are the new axle shafts. And I'll pop one of the stock ones out so we can compare them. And you can see the difference. They, they are a good four millimeters longer. So I'm going to finish this up because I don't want to strip these screws out. I'm going to pull that one back out and probably put a shorter one in. And I will get back with you on the finished product momentarily. So here's the finished product. You might pick up some lawnmower noises because uh, my neighbor's out mowing and you might even hear him hit some rocks because for some odd reason he mows his driveway. But as you can see, it is, here's just a regular standard SCX24. I've got different wheels on it, but no wideners. You can see how much wider this is now. Flip it over. And that is a, a really huge improvement. Well, let's turn it on. All right. We're alive. Got excellent steering movement. And the flex on this thing. It is incredible. Oh, we flipped it. But this is what I'm going for. This is uh, definitely a good beginning on my Ultimate SCX24 build. But look at that. It literally crawls over top of another SCX24. Even in reverse. Well, I think that's some serious improvements. Uh, thanks for hanging out throughout the build. Uh, I know it was a long one, but there was a lot to put on there. I'm going to get some more parts. I've been ordering one thing a week, and after I get a few of them, I throw them on. So I hope to catch you on the next video. We'll have this thing out testing it soon. And everyone have a great day. And I will catch you on the next video. Look at that.